this brief tutorial, we are going to look at functions and formulas using Microsoft Excel. And in this specific spreadsheet, we are going to try to obtain the profit, the total, and the average of the sales versus the overhead for six months worth of information. So let's first have a look at what's going on in each of these cells. If I click on cell B2, you can see that it is just a number up here in the formula bar, as is cell B3. But if I click on cell B4, you can see that we actually have a formula taking place here to obtain this number, which we could, of course, do in our own heads, I'm sure. Now, to obtain this number, I'm going to do this manually by clicking equals. I'm going to enter the cell, this would be C2, I'm going to press the minus sign and C3 and press enter and sure enough you can see that I have now obtained the, the profit by finding the difference between um, the sales and the overhead. For March I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to make it a little bit easier by pressing the equal sign. Now I'm going to use my arrow keys and go up, press it twice, up selecting cell D2, I'm going to press the minus sign, I'm then going to use my arrows again to move up one and press the enter and again as you can see I have performed the same formula. I'm going to make this even easier this time by pressing the equal sign. I'm now just going to click on the cell that I want to begin with which would be E2, press minus, click cell E3, press enter, and sure enough, I have obtained the difference. Now to make it even easier, I just want to repeat this formula. Clicking on this cell, you can see that there is a little square box at the bottom right of the cell. This is a fill handle, and I can repeat this formula by dragging it across the remainder of my months. And voila, you can see by clicking on this cell that sure enough, this formula has been repeated. Now to obtain the total, I could, I could do this the long way by pressing equal sign, creating a parentheses, and then enter each of these cells from, so B, B2 plus, okay, I'm, I, I don't want to do this. I'm going to make it easier on myself by using a function, which is a built-in formula that's built into Excel. And I'm going to do this by selecting cell B2 all the way across to cell G2 and then I'm going to go and choose my auto sum options and voila it has actually added everything together and if I click on on uh, cell H2 you can see that a function has been applied to this cell. Now I'm going to use the same technique that I just did by copying this function or formula by clicking the fill handle and dragging it down and you will see that indeed I have again obtained the total of each of these rows. Now I want to find the average of each of these and I'm going to do this by manually inserting my formula by pressing the equal sign. I'm now going to choose my total so I'll choose the content of cell H H2 and then I'm going to divide it by pressing the forward slash and divide it by six months. I'm going to press enter and sure enough I've now obtained the average of these six months. By, I'm going to repeat the same method that I did earlier by using the fill handle and I'm going to click that bottom square and drag it and voila I have now found the average for each of these rows of content.